Hey guys, welcome to Wrestling Days and welcome to some breaking news regarding Lars Sullivan. Now we are going to tread very carefully here. Okay, there's no explicit footage, no explicit images. Um, and I even want to explain why we're doing this video. Um, because this is probably going to take you by surprise as much as it's taken me by surprise. Um, but this is a developing story. Uh, it broke about an hour ago. Uh, it's already trending here in the UK. Um, I'd imagine it's trending in the US. It's a story that I'm expecting to get bigger, if you will. Uh, and also, the end result might be that Lars Sullivan gets released. It could be that WWE and Lars Sullivan parts ways. Um, now, I saw Lars Sullivan trending. I thought he had returned. I thought he'd returned to a house show. It was another house show moment. Uh, of course, we got a title change the other day. Andrade beating Rey Mysterio, becoming the new United States champion. So when I looked to see why Lars was trending, I was surprised. Let's put it that way. I was surprised he hasn't returned. The story here is that Lars Sullivan used to do adult movies. Uh, I honestly don't know how many. Uh, at this point, I'm aware of one. Uh, this one is very interesting because it seems to involve another guy. Now, Lars Sullivan has actually been fined $100,000 earlier this year for making homophobic comments, homophobic and racist comments. Uh, Big E actually tweeted this out that you can see on screen uh, in reaction uh, to those comments, kind of saying that, you know, this was going to be difficult for Lars. He was going to have to carry an albatross around his neck, the weight of what he's said um, as he now works with those kinds of groups in WWE. Um, so, uh, yeah, Big E, clearly not a fan of Lars Sullivan. So it is quite shocking now to find out that he used to be uh, an adult film star. And the film that's uh, doing the rounds is uh, one that involves another guy. Um, so the reason why I say that WWE might part ways is because they are a PG company. They want to be seen as uh, clean and uh, family friendly content. And, uh, you know, one of their superstars being involved in an adult film does not kind of fit in line with that vision. Uh, we know that China was kept out of the Hall of Fame for the longest time because she also did adult films. They've kind of come round to China now. They've come round to putting her into the Hall of Fame. We saw that last year when she went in with DX and rightfully so. A lot of people saying that she should go in on her own as well and I would definitely support that um, but Lars Sullivan is someone that hasn't established himself yet uh, all he's done really is uh, provide a lot of drama what with those old comments and now this come into light as well so um, it wouldn't surprise me if WWE look at this situation and start wondering what else is the what else is out there this isn't worth it and they part ways Without being cynical, they might not want to do that because there's every chance Lars goes to AEW and WWE might not want to give them someone that looks like Lars. He's got a great look, a very marketable look. And you could argue that people shouldn't be penalised so much for what they've done in the past. Um, but uh, yeah, you know, WWE really have like a zero tolerance on this, so... That's why I do think this is a very interesting story uh, and one that uh, is going to obviously continue to, to develop over the next 48 hours. So let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Uh, what do you think the outcome is going to be for Lars? Do you think he'll be fine? Will he get fined? Um, it depends whether he's told them about this or not. Uh, and some of you watching might be thinking, well, we don't know 100% if that person is Lars. Um, all the reports I'm seeing are saying that it is. Doesn't seem to be any doubt. People have found uh, old pictures of Lars and he is identical. Uh, absolutely identical uh, to the guy that's in this movie. Not only that as well. He has uh, a tattoo in the same place 
uh, as the guy that's in the movie. Uh, Lars has covered over his uh, tattoo, his old tattoo. Um, so everything seems to point towards this absolutely is Lars Sullivan. Um, but of course, I do have to put the caveat in because Lars hasn't come out uh, and confirmed this himself or spoken on the subject himself. Um, so uh, we will have to wait and see. And this is why I'm saying it's a developing story. So let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Um, if you enjoyed the video, uh, then give the video a like. Hit the subscribe if you haven't already. And hopefully I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.